Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Corey. We're from Star Water Systems. If you've watched our video about choosing a jet pump, then you know that there are two ways to draw water from a well, pulling and pushing. A submersible well pump is a permanent underwater installation that pushes water up rather than pulling it. This installation is a bit more difficult than your typical jet pump installation. You'll need a lot more tools and materials to get this right, especially the deeper your well gets. So is this an installation I can do on my own as a do-it-yourselfer? Probably not. You'll need a drop pipe, a boom to hold the drop pipe. You'll also need some specialized tools to actually install the pump. The list goes on and on. I do not recommend doing this on your own. Sounds really complicated. Sounds like I need to call a professional to get this done, correct? Correct. All right, so now I'm buying a pump. What exactly do I need to fit my application at my home? So first of all, you're going to need to decide if you want a two-wire or three-wire pump. Most people just typically use the same thing they had before. What's the difference? Is this a two-wire and this a three-wire? How am I telling the difference here? A two-wire pump will have a built-in capacitor, which is inside the motor casing. This helps start the motor, which is connected to the pump. It will have two wires and a grounding wire, screen one, like this one. A three-wire pump will look identical, but it will have three wires and a grounding wire, also green. It will also connect to a control box. The control box that you purchase must be the same voltage and horsepower as the pump you're buying, or it will not work. So the easiest way to tell what I have in my home right now is to go in my basement or wherever my control box is installed and look at the horsepower on that control box right now. Correct. And if you don't have any paperwork, this will be the quickest way. The control box should also tell you what horsepower your pump is. If there's no control box, then where do I look? I would look for paperwork from your previous installation or paperwork from the pump that you purchased. If you have no control box or paperwork, you may just have a professional pull the pump and help you size the correct pump for your application. Finally, you'll need to know how many gallons per minute, or GPM, that your application requires. This can be a tricky calculation, but you can figure this out with a calculator on StarWaterSystems.com. So to recap, you suggest working with a professional, as this can be a dangerous and difficult installation, I need to make sure I know if my pump 